This is Thomas Colohan, Artistic Director of the Washington Master Chorale. I interviewed composer Morton Lordson in late August of 2015 at his home in the San Juan Islands. During the conversation, we discussed his beautiful choral cycle, Les Chansons des Roses. This cycle is particularly close to my heart. I first met Morton Lordson when I was a student at the University of Southern California in the early 1990s. He told me about a new set of works he was completing, settings of French poems by Rainer Maria Rilke that he thought I might like very much. He was right. The work was premiered later that year by Coral Cross Ties, a professional choral group based in Portland, Oregon. Portland is Lordson's hometown and calls itself the City of Roses. They asked me to write a piece for their concert the, the next year that included Chanson by Hindemith, Chanson by Sanson, and then my piece. And I thought it would be very interesting to have an American, a German, and a Frenchman hmm? yeah. um, compose Chanson by Rainer Maria Rilke. Say a little more about uh, Rainer Maria Rilke, how you came to his poetry, how your relationship to him and how, how uh, he is this, this particular set of French poems, how you came to them and, and how, how they got incorporated into the composition. Part of the, the harmonic softness has to do with the, the text, obviously. Yes, and, and, and the Frenchness. And, and which the French. No, and, the, and yeah. the Frenchness. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's certainly not a German piece, for, <laughs> for, for example. Yes, yes, yes. But, it, but, but there has to be this kind of softness and, to and it. And if I may interrupt you. Isn't it amazing how Rilke, a German, a Bohemian, yes. so captured this French spirit? Yes. And how do you think he did? Well, how well <coughs> it's, uh, and he took some personal flack for doing this. The uh, Germans, of course, were very upset. He's, he's <laughs> doing French now. The French were even more upset. He's, <laughs> he, he's, he's messing around in our language. <laughs> and um, it was either Valerie or Verlan, one of those. When the Rose cycle, uh, w the Rose songs were published posthumously, he had died is the last thing. Uh, there's a foreword, I think it's Valerie, addressed to the French saying, I know, he's not French, but these are wonderful poems and he's captured the spirit of them. I'd love to go to the piano and just do a couple of our that favorite would be fun. moments. I'd uh, like to do that. Let's do that, it'd be great. So the very first one. Yeah, that's here in the very beginning. Is yes. Sort of <laughs> now, there's the rose chord. Then the sequence. Then it's the French is, but you didn't think otherwise. That's right. You didn't. So it's very straightforward. Yes. <laughs> so. It's a beauty tone. Yes. There it is. To come many yes. minutes later. And yeah. the altos can do it upside down. And the sopranos finish it off. And the basses and the tenors transpose it. <laughs> no, I had a lot of fun with this one. You did. <laughs> I'd love to close with, uh, I would say, probably my favorite moment, and I think we talked earlier about oh. one of maybe the heart of this cycle, I the Contra so. yeah. so. It's uh, you know, really this tenderness, <coughs> this sorrow. We have a whole series of questions, and none of which become answered musically. Nothing's resolved in this. Yes. And I just start with this hollowed, this very hollowed, you see, what, what's going on, Rose? Yeah. Why? I'm, Why? I'm loving you. And you're and, hurting me. And you're hurt, hurting me. Yeah. Then it builds and... And that's it. they do that again and then it builds up on the oh, au yes. contraire. Yes. I think musically it's one of my favorite places in anything I've ever oh. composed. So oh, yeah. it leading into that it goes into a big nine part chord. 
And this is spread out, this particular chord. And the second tenor, you get Then, the, this, is, this is, comes right from De Breton, you yes, see, because... And then, then come the, back uh, to the question. The, 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 the hollis, yeah. that, and it ends. Uh, and we're left with this. We're left with this. And even in this, this alto D flat, uh, soprano E flat, this, yeah. there's the thorn. That's there's the, the thorn. thorn. That's, that's, that's right. That, that, that that's pain, right. Yeah. Poignancy. Yeah. I just, it's just marvelous right. music. And it, so it speaks to the power of the human voice, the ability, the, the ability of the choir to, to make this sort of complex statement, artistic yeah. statement. Yes. And, and you've done that here. It's it just, it's marvelous. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> it's been I'm a great willing. pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you here.